Kelloland on the Road crew is racking up the miles traveling throughout South Dakota to bring Kelloland viewers three stories we think you will love. And the two men bringing these stories to life are with us today. Kelloland on the Road host Mike Huther and the man behind the camera, photographer Taylor Yoakum, are joining us on the couch. They're here to give us a behind the scenes look of the heartwarming stories you can catch tomorrow night. Welcome, gentlemen. Brittany, hey, nice to you. be back. We can tell you are racking up the miles, over 800 now. That's exciting. It was a long trip uh, for one of the stories. We went yeah. all the way to Lemon, South Dakota, wow. which is right on the South Dakota, North Dakota border, to capture one incredible story. And not only do we think you're going to like these, we know you're going to love these three stories. Yeah, I love the confidence with that, too. <laughs> so let's go through these stories. Sure. And the first one, you traveled to Emory. Uh, we went to Emory and uh, met just a, a, a beautiful person inside and out. And what she does is she takes her God-given talent, uh, this wonderful singing voice, but also these other talented things that she does. And she really impacts Emory in grand ways. And Emory has impacted her in phenomenal ways, too. So, Taylor, I want to know your side of the story, too, when it comes to traveling as a photographer for this. Because being Certainly. from here, I mean, learning all about these people that you would never know about, what is that like? I think it's just fantastic. I mean, for as curious as we are in their stories, they're just as curious yes. in us and about what we do. And so I think the relationship of that really brings all of us together because we're all creating something that a lot of people want to see, that we want to be involved in, that somebody can get, you know, a moral, a story from, or just some entertainment. And I mean, when you have people like Dana Jones who overcome such great odds and yeah. want to share that, you know, it's, it's just amazing all around. I, I love hearing about it and I love meeting them. Yeah. I'm excited to hear this one, too, because I love hearing these heartwarming stories. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes things in the news can be more sad, so heartwarming is always good. But let's talk now about Lemon. This was the one that took you up north pretty yes. far. Lemon was about six and a half hours away on our travels. This is by far probably one of my favorites. We traveled to the ranch and studio of a man named John Lopez, who has just amazing skill that is only rivaled by his humbleness in what he truly does. He takes these pieces of scrap iron or junk and with amazing technical ability and just a, a grand creative vision makes these larger than life sculptures that we saw just dotted all across town. I mean, you can just see right there the wow. amazing, amazing time and skill and talent that goes into making these. It's just fantastic. And when you live out in a place that is just surrounded by inspiration and nature, it's, it's got to be difficult to not feel inspired and motivated mm -hmm. all the time. What was your favorite part, Mike, about visiting Lemon? Well, number one, we got to see parts of uh, the state that I've never been to before. And, and uh, thank goodness for Taylor because he's allowed me to travel, you know, with him as we're going to 66 counties across South Dakota. This was a long drive, but it was so well worth uh, the, the drive. And, and as Taylor said, the story is incredible. Uh, you won't want to miss either one of these. But, again, the last one, oh, my goodness, you must stay tuned for the last one. <laughs> Tell me about it. You went to Elsester for this. We did. We did. Um, I received a referral about a 102-year-old self-taught piano player named Lillian Solbu. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a little cue. She makes me cry at the end because mm. she is so beautiful, so warm, and so giving, and, and her talent is, is phenomenal. She takes these 102-year-old fingers and she goes up and down the piano in just glorious ways. And uh, I was just uh, thrilled by it. And should we give them the scoop about her driving? Yeah, now you got to tell us. <laughs> there is a part of this story, Kelland, that'll just make you just smile and laugh. She actually drives. Wow. She drove to the church. She drove away from the church. And guess what? Her driver's license, here you go. She's got a driver's license until she's 105 years old. It's incredible. So then after 105, could she get it oh, renewed? And, and uh, God willing, she will. There is nothing holding back Lillian Solbu whatsoever. Nothing. Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. That's a story in itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. And, and that's probably one of the hardest things, Brittany, is that every one of these stories that Taylor and I and Kellen bring to the viewers they could easily, we could make them a half hour long, every single one of them. And it's really hard. I mean, just ask Jane Andrews here at Kelloland, uh, because I, we do have to cut it down to about six and a half minutes. 
but all of them could easily be a half hour. We try to bring you the best of the best of all, of all these stories, and just so thankful that people are really enjoying them at the highest level. So I want to ask now, do you guys have any traditions when it comes to traveling? I mean, certain <laughs> snacks you like to munch on or anything? Not so much certain snacks, but maybe certain snacks we avoid. <laughs> okay. We, we have learned our lesson about going to gas stations, trying to get things done yeah. quickly so we can continue. It has not worked out for us in that manner. We, we are trying to eat healthier so that we stay energized and, and we, we just keep hitting the road <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> One of the first things that we do in every town is we look for that welcome to sign. Uh, and so you'll see that, uh, whether it's Emory, Alcester, uh, Marion, whatever, we find that welcome to sign. We, we film that. We film the, uh, the Subaru coming into town or going to John Lopez Farm, whatever we do. And, and again, uh, then we create these memories, uh, not only for Taylor and I, and I thank you, my friend, but also for the Kellyanne viewers. And, and uh, we're just thrilled to bring them to you, and we're just so happy that people are, are loving them as much as we are. Now, if someone has an idea, should yeah. they send you it? Are you taking suggestions? We are, and and um, and in fact, to be brutally to be brutally fair, we're getting a lot of our story ideas now from the people watching our show. And folks, I'm going to say this: it's our show, uh, your show as much as Taylor's and mine and Kelland. So yeah, if you've got a great story idea of somebody inspiring, motivational, uh, who is positive in nature, bring it to Kelland. Uh, and on the road, and, and we'll do our best to, to bring it to all of you. Yeah, I cannot wait to see thank you. tonight's episode. We've got some great stories. So thank you both so much for coming on and sharing this with us. Thank you. Thank Last you. Tuesday of the month, everybody. Last, Last Tuesday. Tuesday of the month. Yes, Stay tomorrow. Sorry, to I said tonight. Tomorrow, <laughs> thank Tuesday. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you guys so much. Thank you.